you think it's best to keep it firm so then you don't have to hold on no to it. no it's okay it's yeah. okay it's cool so we are in this very odd uh, setting today hard rock cafe a place called hard rock cafe so if the music is too loud we can't even grumble because of the name and with me is uh, roshan whom i met and encountered for uh, hi frederick off and on. hi to your viewers real pleasure real pleasure to meet up roshan yes so where did this go frederick this goes on your youtube, YouTube channel YouTube, okay yeah. and uh, it has a lot of viewership among the goan community in particular oh, okay okay can i say what is the main focus on the youtube anything goa related Okay, okay yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. Very But nice. But sometimes I also bring in my pet peeves, like you know, technology, a bit of environment, and okay. whatever, whatever, books, and all my nice, pet peeves. Nice, nice, nice. I think I think you are adding flavor to Goa. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I don't know. I I I I reduce the flavor in it. Tell us about Pilgrim Stays, Roshan. Also, oh, so Pilgrim Stays is a business we started uh, about a year ago. So it was inaugurated on February twenty uh, twenty uh, by Cardinal Oswald Gracious, and essentially it's a Christian travel tourism company. So we always felt that you know, I mean, myself and my partners in Pilgrim Stays. So it's founded by me and uh, Asian Trading Corporation, uh, yeah. which is one of the leading Christian publishing houses. And we always felt that you know, there's so many beautiful things about the Christian faith in India, in, in India, in India and overseas, etc. Okay. And you know, when you see things of beauty, we feel that you know your faith also gets strengthened. But many times we we go as tourists we just see something there's no literature there's no nobody to explain to us what's there etc so we felt you know somebody needs to do this job of documenting things organizing things well and you know taking people uh, on tours where there's a well um, well educated guide well trained guide uh, you know we also felt that there were a lot of places which you know asian trading corporation at atc had encountered or i had encountered which were actually monasteries and you know guest houses run by the christian catholic orders but they were not utilized by people from the faith itself or from the community so we felt there had to be like some way to book these places and you know especially if you're going on a sort of like a pilgrimage or you're going to see the vatican or you're going to see the holy land etc we felt that that experience will be enhanced by staying in that environment you know and in case the environment is not very nice and maybe we felt that we could play a role in enhancing it or guiding them as to what the standards are that people expect etc so pilgrim says essentially a christian travel company it's a very interesting perspective because uh, this is a, a niche which has not been which is not visible and as they say what the what the mind does not know the eye does not see correct correct, correct. and i encountered you all for the first time when uh, you all wanted to do something on goa correct and i realized that despite of my in spite of my own interest i was quite hard pressed to collect those facts collect yeah. those facts and yeah, share yeah, it with yeah, your yeah, viewers yeah, and yeah. then i got alan machado in roped it correct correct no, it was a it was a phenomenal talk so, and you know actually me also being because i you i mean you know i'm mangalorean and I don't. I, I didn't Your roots realize, are in Goa. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't realize most, that. Most you know, people don't to, realize that's a separate yeah. debate altogether. Yes, Why yes. don't Goans and Mangalorians in the uh, acknowledge yeah. acknowledge the connection? That, that, that's they, a different they, that debate. They're all we, actually from the we, same. We will not get origins, into yeah, yeah. correct. But Alan is always reminding me about yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. So I also it was eye opening for me too, and you know um, I felt that you know that some of these places I want to go and see because you know Alan talked about some of these churches and how the faith. you know is documented in these places but i've never seen it myself lot of history you know? lot yeah, of lot history, history etc and it's a good example of where you know like if you if, and now i have after getting into this business whenever i travel i now realize when i when i go to some of these old churches and some of them are not on the tourism map you just you know you go to a village in maharashtra and you see a yeah. church and i actually see a board there saying that oh this church is 100 years old you know so it's it's right. amazing but you know i and then you realize and you appreciate because you go there and then you see that oh you know even like how you know in all churches you have the stations of cross you see like these are stations of cross paintings which are like you know like maybe uh, 70 80 years old you know beautiful you know in terms of the story they are telling etc so we felt that you know this has to be documented people should be able to kind of uh, at least every year take one a uh, sort of holiday with the family where their faith gets strengthened they get to spend time as a as a as a family together or as a couple together and you and know and they understand their own history in that sense and they, yeah and when you realize that you're part of a larger heritage and a yeah. larger community and there are yeah. many people who have walked the path that you are walking today then i think it strengthens your connection to your faith you know because 
today a lot of us we just go through life right i mean and, and we were born christian or catholic and yeah. so we continue it's not a choice it's a chance it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a it's a chance and we we don't have, don't take the time to think more deeply about it you know so i think this some of these things you know and when you see the i mean the mesmerizing art or you see this you know these huge structures and you like see, what like what like, example i mean i'll give you a example of uh, i mean very cliched example but Okay, I'll take something which is not. I mean, easy examples yeah. are, of course, when you go to the Saint Peter's Basilica in 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 Vatican, or you go to the Holy Land, etc. But I'll take I'll take an example of uh, of a uh, of a church that probably you might have also been, which is the you know um, I don't know if you've been to Don Bosco in Matunga in yeah. Bombay. Yeah. So it's a it's a such a pretty church, you know, and it's got a it's got a crypt which is underground. which is such an old uh, you know kind of uh, church so it's 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 you when you go there it's it's you know it's you get to see the contribution really of the catholic church to india because you see uh, you know there's a football ground there's a school it's in the middle of like dadar or whatever matunga in bombay and you know and it's such a beautiful church and yet such like a like a place of serenity and you know meditative in that sense then i think the other good ch- i mean other church i mean of course here pom jesu and lots of beautiful churches in goa church which i personally like very much is saint elosius in mangalore i've been there i've been, been there yeah you've amazing been there. stained glass and all yeah i've seen they class, won't allow you to photograph but yeah. yeah no but now i think they are allowing you to photograph saint philomena's myself also yeah i've seen saint philomena's i've not been to I've, myself i've been there once oh you've been there yeah. okay i haven't been there myself but like saint elosius is hand painted I see. Fresco. I see. You know, I mean, lying on their back like uh, yeah, I mean, like Michelangelo you know, or someone yeah, like that. You know, like uh, you know, the Italian priest doing yeah. you know what they did. You know, maybe hundreds of years ago. So it's, I mean, it's uh, it's interesting yeah, to see and you know just Saint Elias. Yeah, and what did they call it? We are right. in the digital world, right? But when you see a painting and you see a digital image, there's no comparison. When you are standing there, sitting there in the church, and you're surrounded by you know live yeah. paintings, yeah. it's. Uh, It's so, a moving experience. Yeah. So, Roshan, just to understand you right, you all are into uh, Christian pilgrim tourism, correct? Travel within India as well out as of India. Yes, we are also we are we are doing both domestic travel, yeah. which is you know let's say for instance parish groups, yeah. youth groups, uh, families you know uh, going for family retreats etc. in a beautiful setting. We are doing pilgrimages. So let's say people coming to Goa, people going to Kerala because I these see. are really I think two of the major. Uh, hubs of Christianity. Where North East, can, North East, North East. We have not depart. launched a okay. tour yet. It's an interesting place, but you know, I've been there once or twice, and um, you know, it's still a little early in its faith formation. And so okay. there's a, there are multiple different churches, and yeah. you know, and they, 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 the, it's there's there's they say Darjeeling, which is very nice, but the North East, North East. Yeah. Uh, we're still researching what we can do, which will be interesting, etc. And still sensitive to that region. we are doing outbound so we are doing the holy land we are I doing uh, we are already you know we have, i mean holy land uh, israel's opened up travel opening up travel from the 20th so 20th we are already of september, of september 2021 okay you know so we are, we are we have we are going to launch our groups and you know there will be multiple groups in september october november and december december we are doing a little larger more luxurious one with new year and christmas in the holy land you know we are also doing uh, the the vatican and rome etc and in the future we will do fatima portugal you know some of these lords some of these international ones we are doing inbound so we are doing you know because a lot of other parishes yeah. from the middle east and from singapore and hong kong etc have have told us that we want to visit india yeah they also don't know that even the christianity is so old in india and there's so many beautiful churches here they obviously want to see mother teresa in calcutta they want to see what the missionaries yeah. of charity have been have been doing because everyone's heard of them they want to see you know let's say kerala and they want to experience some parts of india so we're going to do some inbound also you know for for those kind of parish groups etc elsewhere coming Roshan, to india a lot of this would depend on the public image as it stands yeah. on public understanding yeah okay uh, how do you go beyond this and uh, dig up new places is it, is it possible it is because i mean we don't should not we don't have to take credit for this because the body of work that the church and the various institutions have done in india is so diverse that there are you know the information is there but maybe not packaged well it's not packaged well i'll give you an example there is a you know i mean you must have heard of the benedict 
um, you know the Benedictine liqueurs, I see. which where, is an where? order in France, you know, ah, in France. where they make the most exquisite liqueurs I in see. in France, and they make the most exquisite liqueurs and cheeses. But they have a they have an outpost in India. I see. Where in Bangalore, and that outpost is running a dairy farm, and is actually the most famous cheesery. Uh, I see. What's uh, it? Yeah, really? Really? yeah, in Bangalore, and they supply to all the five-star hotels. I see. The, the most exotic cheeses. I see. So you know, it's uh, why do they do it to raise funding or they they I or mean their their their, their their order yeah uh, specializes the headquarters of the order specializes in these artisanal products. So one of the priests from uh, you know Kerala priest from from India who was from their order went for training to the to the parent. I see. Uh, you know. Monastery, yeah. and then he picked it up, and the order kind of supported him. And they said, "Why don't you go back to India and set up something like this in wow. India? Because you know you have dairy and cow." There is there is something in Margaon also where they work on cashew and liquor. Oh, and I said okay, okay. I should put you in touch. I'll just have right, to dig right, it up. Right, right. So there is you know so there are you know there are also orders which do you know produce garments. They produce yeah. you know the yeah you know I mean the the garments that the priests wear yeah. or you know the 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 there are. They, they are, so there's some significance about the design and, and the embroidery, etc. Number of buttons on a bishop's correct, garb correct, and all that. Exactly. So there are specialized orders and ministries which are doing this, and and they are uh, you know and and so you know we are also kind of uncovering that, helping them also to you know sort of uh, build some additional revenue streams by selling more of their products right. and you know uh, you know. What are the biggest challenges in a job like this? Information, the biggest contacts, challenge is that you know, we're competing for attention uh, with the uh, you know the end consumer. He, he's wearing many hats, right? Yeah. And you know we are appealing obviously to the religious side of his of his existence. Right. But he's wearing many hats as a as a wife, a husband. Yeah. Uh, they have many choices. Yeah, they have many choices. They have many. I mean, as a they have a diverse friend circle. So you know they and you know we are in the in a in a era where you know you're on Facebook and you know your holiday is going on Facebook yeah. etc. So you want to you don't necessarily want to come across as very conservative or religious etc. You know we want to be politically correct. So people I mean and obviously going and doing a pilgrimage may not compare comp compare with posing in Maldives you know uh, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. and posting those few pictures on Facebook. So we are competing for attention you know and we are competing from in that. Era of a lot of noise where maybe you know uh, this may the, the the religious tourism and pilgrimages may appeal to people who were for some parts of their travel so every travel can't be religious but yes every person will do a pilgrimage every now and then in our opinion to strengthen his own faith connect with himself bring together his family, spend time with his parents and grandparents, etc. So we want to take that opportunity. What's your background? My background is I'm an engineer. I, I, I was, uh, I mean, I was grew, born and grew up overseas in the in Qatar. Yeah. Came to India in 96 to graduate from IIT Bombay. And uh, I'm a telecom engineer by training. Engineers are trained to do anything. I mean, it's I, a methodology that... I was that watching an interesting video on that. I see. It, they, they say that uh, engineers uh, are taught detachment. You know, because it's like uh, if you are if you do medicine, then you're an orthodontist means you're only doing orth only yeah. doing bones, or your cardiac yeah. means you're only doing like heart, you know, surgery. But a civil engineer is like I'm doing coding, <laughs> or like you know, engineer is the only one who's like will do engineering and next year go to do an MBA. I have engineers <laughs> who are good lawyers, good journalists, yeah, good, correct, you know, good so whatever. I, I guess engineering maybe teaches you detachment or uh, you know to <laughs> to not <laughs> to be okay with to go with the flow. And how did you get interested in this field? So I, I'm in tourism. My main yeah. business is a company called Trip Villas, which is one of the large Trip Trip Villas. Villas. Yeah, it's a it's a large holiday rental uh, company. We manage and develop holiday homes across the globe. I see. So I was on, I'm already in the travel space, and I felt like you know nobody's done this before. So when you know when the founder of ATC, which is Nigel Fernandez, came yeah. to me and said that Ocean, why don't we do something in the religious interesting uh, pilgrimages space? He's, he's into big time book selling and religious yes, items in Bangalore. Yes, I've known yes, them for yes, many years. Yes, yes. Since the eighties, they 80s. are one of the leading Christian publishers. Yeah. And Christian together, media, yeah. together with our friends, brilliant the Regos. Yes, yes. yes who yes. are into printing uh, correct, religious correct, correct, uh, correct, content correct, also. Correct, correct, correct. So Regos are my good friends and uh, yes, 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 yes. So Anil and his yeah, Anil, 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 yeah, yeah. No, I deal with Anil. Okay, yes, yes. 
I know about the Bibles they produce. I wrote about them, and you know, oh, okay, okay. Ethiopian they're, Bibles no, no, and things. They're, like. they're a phenomenal business, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, like uh, I mean, not many people may know that Brilliant is printing Bibles for people all over the world. Yeah, yeah. for Gideon and you know, in yeah. America and all these, yeah, these yeah. strange languages. Yeah. And of course, Brilliant is a story in itself. Yes, yes, I mean, yes. Because the way enterprise. they started up, sorry. Yeah, it's a huge enterprise. Because now. the way they started yeah. out in the seventies with a single small tiny machine. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you must have seen the video yeah, that yeah. they produced, I think. I've seen the machine, I've seen the oh, machine. You've seen the machine also, yeah. yeah. I think it's kept in the reception. It's kept, yeah, right? yeah, it's yeah. kept there. With, yeah. with due reverence. Right, right, right. But that's a different point. Of course, yeah. I have this belief that Mangaloreans have this very strong business gene, which oh, the Goans are totally lacking in, our, I mean, the Christian no, Goans. I wouldn't in say sense. that. I wouldn't say that. And, I mean, look at how... Um, uh, we are I mean, a great a, service com- community, but... Uh, yeah, no, but I think uh, a good business person has to be a good service person. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're not customers can trick, you can't survive in business, you know. And uh, to a certain extent, you know, I don't think people who are, you know, who keep, uh, and keep creating chaos and keep managing chaos, the customers may not like it. I see. So if you are a very process-oriented or you are very... Uh, by the book, I think your customers appreciate that and you'll do well as a business person. This is a sensitive field, no? Uh, like uh, your pilgrims travels is like no, people. It's not. It's not. People sensitive. expect. People expect. It's. It's not sensitive, but we are very conscious. We okay. are very sensitive to the okay. fact that this is a once in a lifetime. People, you know, look forward to this trip. They okay. don't go on a pilgrimage every day. I you see. Know? So we feel very conscious when we are taking people's money and you know that you know we have to do a good job. I see. And we have to be very very careful what we what we put into those seven days you know I because see. we you know some of them are senior citizens they may not necessarily be you know very people, affluent or whatever yeah, affluent and they really their it's their desire to once go yeah. on a holy land trip or a, or a, or a pilgrimage maybe that light is telling us if you don't mind yeah yeah if you don't mind moving yeah yeah please the light is just coming in the camera yeah, also and I'm, I'm just wondering if we should move indoors because there are a lot of mosquitoes indoors yeah, yeah sure 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 Have a glance of. Thanks. What can I get you? Some juice or something? No, no, no. Uh, in a little while. Yeah. In a little while. Uh, we can order some juice. Okay. What do you feel like having a juice or a beer? Or Just a fruit juice. Or what? What juices do you have? Uh, fresh watermelon, orange. Fresh watermelon. Fresh watermelon. Watermelon orange. Come on. Thank you. So so okay. Uh, so so you got involved with it and uh, yes. this been how long? So we launched. The, we we got we we incorporated the business in January 2020 and then we started in uh, in tough times. It, yeah, because uh, of the pandemic. Yeah, because of the pandemic. Correct. I think yeah. We, I mean the pandemic started in 2020, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. been about a year. And, yeah. You know? year and slightly half more but yeah. it's a fascinating idea in that sense no no and it's an exciting time and i think we also i mean to a certain extent things happen for the for the good yeah and so we also got a year to grow into our aspirations i see know, and really set the systems right and process right because let's say if we had started in january you would have ra- gone done straight done, into it yeah yeah, 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 and, yeah. And, you know and, and, and gone headlong and everything is a blessing in a certain yeah, sense yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then you know you never know we might have not delivered as per expectations you know so it's uh, it's good that we've had the time to really think more deeply about what should be in the tours what's our team composition i like your seminars yeah oh yeah yeah we done how many we, how many we've done about i think 10 or 12 wow. you know? yeah, yeah and that's fascinating no because uh, it's more than just business no like yeah. you are saying like let's let's also understand the place let's understand yeah, yeah, yeah. the market because, i mean otherwise how do you appreciate something because like let's say for instance if I put a, uh, an FN Sousa in front of you and you don't know have yeah. the context to understand what you're seeing or what FN Sousa's right. life was right. and why he's what he's communicating through his art, you may enjoy only ten percent of it will just look like pretty colours to you, you know, and you may say, Oh wow, this guy's you know, this is FN Sousa. So Singapore at one stage was interested in this venture or the, or the other one? Or? No, no, no. Singapore okay. uh, Singapore comes an investor in trip villas. Trip villas, yes. Not in this one. I mean, you know, and this one we don't we're not very capital intensive. I see. So we're not I mean, you know, we don't have any shareholders or investors we're running the business ourselves. What's your uptake like? I mean, of course, it's, it's a pandemic here. Well, well, it's done very well. I mean, we've got this huge interest. You know, I mean, we've got more than a 
thousand plus, I think two thousand people already pre-registered I see. for tours, and you know, who are now now what we're doing is because you know there's a lot of uh, lot of restrictions on the visas, so we're being very careful. We're trying to put together the batches, you know, kind of vet people who are coming onto the groups, trying to form like-minded groups, you know, because. Uh, so there, there's, there's, there, there's of course you and you know like me and you know people who are Catholics who are the broad mass of, of Christians. But there are other groups and you know we may some of them may want to be you know in their in a more specialized tour. So we are you know sort of uh, putting together those groups you know and then of course you know people can depart from Bombay, Bangalore, Delhi, Goa. Some wow. people are joining from Dubai. So we are also kind of putting together all that logistics. You know, Fascinating, but what I find most interesting is the market building uh, exercises that you all have taken. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot because of time. We felt thought. That, you know, nobody else was doing it. So we felt that, I mean, as I said, our philosophy was that you know, I mean, if I have to give value for money to you, I must tell you what you're seeing. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, you know, you're paying me to come there and see something, and you don't, you don't know anything about it. I would even appreciate it. You know. So we felt that why don't we, when people are at their home, they are sitting with their family, why don't we use that opportunity to, you know, to, to give them insight into what they are seeing, you know. Thanks so much and yeah, thanks yeah. for your time and it's fascinating. I'm wishing you all the best. No, no, And no, hope absolutely. that it picks up and takes off. No, no, of course. And that and you have a thanks. larger footprint in Goa also. No, no, for sure, for sure. And, you know, as you know, I mean, uh, the overall Goans have already given us so much of love yeah. and appreciation. No, it's, 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 uh, I think you're filling a useful niche. Yeah. In that sense, all the best, all thanks, the very best. Thanks,